Okay, so I would like to welcome you to Dio's technical office. This is the place where all the high-tech stuff happens. As you know, Dio's items are made by the combination of high-tech and what we can call low-tech, the hand-making. But this is the place where we would like to introduce all the high-tech stuff, all the machines that are incorporated in the production of our items. This is the place where we make our molds, this is the place where we make our injection, body injections. Basically, this is the place where all the plastic bodies come from. And while we are here, I think it would be a good idea to have a look at each individual stage. So we would like to introduce that a little bit. Okay, so now let's have a look at another stage. Actually, what we have here is the copper block, as you can see. And if you look close, you can see many, many shapes. All of these are some of our items. What happens here is Mr. Adachi gives us the plastic model and then this plastic shape is carved into this copper model and we are end up with such a shape which is then used for hand carving by Mr. Adachi to make the perfect shape. Alright, so we can see all this open space but there is one small booth over here. Must be something important happening there, let's have a look. Okay, let's get ready to see some high-tech stuff. Alright, welcome to our 3D scanner office. Okay, so if you, have a, if you have a good look, what you can see there is the hand carving by Mr. Adachi. So this is the next step. When Mr. Adachi is finished with his hand carving, we bring the CAD model over here and it's scanned. It's scanned in 3D scanner and the data are entered into the computer nearby. When these data are ready, they are transformed to another machine, right here. And actually there is something going on right now. So what is this machine is used for? We first of all hand, uh, scan the hand scarf model and then the inverted data are being made right here. When both scans are finished, we can get the left side of the model, we can get the right side for the model, and it's time to make the plastic bodies. So what I'm holding in my hands right now is one of the copper model, which we actually use later to make the inverted data. You've seen before the 3D scanning, which we use to get the data. What happens then is we take those data, we carve the models, and then the models is put into a cool machine just like that. We don't want to waste our time making the left side and the right side of the Lua by ourselves, so we asked one of these clever machines to do it for us. Have a look yourself. Okay, so what happens here is we put this model inside and by using Spark, by melting the steel, we actually get the inverted data. Okay, it would take forever to see how it really ends up, so let's do it the 
fast forward and this is actually what comes out from this machine. You can see the left side, you can see the right side. So then from this moment on it's up to making the body samples. Okay, so as I mentioned in our technical office two things happen. We make our molds and we make the bodies by injections method. This is actually the machine where some of this stuff happens. This is the injection machine where we make our body samples. Well, have a look yourself how it happens. Oh, we got something dropping down. Let's have a look. All right, this is what comes out from this machine. It's a one half of the body sample. I can hear you asking, what item is that? It's a new one. Can't tell you yet. Have to wait for this one. Okay, so this, so the body injections, but there is some cool stuff going on at the moment. So let's have a look. What you can see here is the mode which we are the producing of the body samples. Okay, so this was a sneak peek through our technical office. There is much more to see, however, no time left at the moment. We will be back again and we will explain more carefully each of the stages. But wait, wait, let's have a look here. Almost done now. This is the reason why I say this is a top world technical office. You know, it takes us a really short time to make a cutting like that. That's why we like it here very much and that's why our Luas are considered some of the best.